What's up guys, it's your boy the Moan. Welcome back to another live Epic 7 video. Today we're going to be doing some Molagora. I'm trying to figure out who the heck I'm going to Molagora today. I'm just going to minimize this window. Let's go ahead and get up the thing. I have 46 Molagoras to play with today. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I think I need to write it down. I definitely want to full skill Judge Kisei. And I definitely want to do Arbiter. So, let me write that down. Kisei, Arbiter. I think that all my molos are gone, man. I gotta do... I have to do everything. Molagor refund following the July 11th patch. The number of Molagors required to enhance skills will be decreased. Excess Molagors used compared to new requirements will be returned together with gold for those heirs with no Molagor difference after patch. No additional molos will be given. Alright, cool. Sweet. Let's go. Oh man, I need Mulligore goes, so let's make some stuff. Let's see here, make sure this is set up. Uh, Emperor H2O, what's up, Kieran? What's up, buddy? <laughs> How you guys doing? You guys get a lot of Mulligore back today? Man, I got all kinds of stuff to minimize. Dumped my, your new Mola, 34? Jeez. Did it work out good for you? I mean, because what's the total now? Like 38 or 42 or something like that? Oh, dang. I got to do a Maldon, too. Skill in hands. Is she done? 7, 4, 14. Yeah, she's finished. Alright, cool. You only got 5? Hey, that's 5 free ones. And they got the Mulligora pack? Let's go. You thought you'd get more? Yeah. I, I, I made the mistake of feeding some heroes that I had that, um, <laughs> that, uh, had some Mulligoras in them. One of them was Carrot, I remember. So that's done. How many we got left? 35. Alright, so that's. We got that. Let's do What's going on with Dizzy's? Got the one turn cooldown. Damage still. I don't need to spend that there. What's Biking looking like? Biking is. I don't want to do that either. Who else do, do we have? ML Dom, definitely. How many? One, three. Let's do one here. <laughs> Mole's already almost gone. That quick. <laughs> Am I going to max rest too? Yeah. And then I gotta do ox slots. I hope I have enough. Oh, I don't have any curse powder. Uh, Noel, what's up, buddy? You only got three? <laughs> it's all good, man. Yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I haven't used it yet, so that don't, that'll work out. Catalyst. Let's see. Black Curse Powder. What do I have a lot of these? Oh, four? That'll leave me with ten. Eh. Mm 
Uh, Lawrence Persons. What's up, buddy? How you doing tonight, man? Alright, so we got that done. And then where is my ox lot? Ah, 15 left. Slime jelly. Plus these. Black magic. We're gonna definitely do this one. Do I need a Mulligar go? I do. Right, let's grab one. Right, one here. Two. And three. Alright, now we got eight left. I still gotta buy the Mola, Mola pack too. I can probably put that somewhere. Miscellaneous. Effect chance. Effect chance. Yeah, that's what we need, so we'll go effect chance. Alright, now what's that leave us with? Two? Ah, I'm gonna put those last two, guys. <laughs> uh, Mako says, hey, just saw your last video, I'm hyped. Yeah, ML Ravi looks crazy, man. Uh, really like your content maintenance. Was, yeah, yeah. I got some sleep though, man, because I stayed up all night, man, and I didn't know what I was going to do because I was like, I, you know, I thought the patch was going to hit about 12, so I was like, I'm just going to stay up. And uh, so I fell asleep. You know, I was like, yo, I just need to make sure I sleep for like an hour. Got up and saw that the maintenance was extended with sleep for like another hour. Maintenance extended again, and then I saw that it extended till 8, so I was just like, F it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going all the way to sleep, so. It worked out well. Alright. Uh, who can use these last two on? I kind of want to save them. But I could use them on Corvus. Ugh. I just realized that there's going to be a ton of max skill Corvuses now. Because I got the mouse insignias. I just. Because uh. what does this even do? Two molas? Oh, so you get the two souls plus the 20% healing here. Not enough molas to even do anything. Yeah, I'll just sit on these for now. Yeah, dude, definitely got some sleep, man. It was good. I woke up and I was like. Because I, I didn't know like how many molagoras I was going to get. So. It was cool. I, uh, yeah. Damage test? <laughs> Anyone know when we're getting the new connection hero? I thought we were going to get one this week, man, but it, it'll probably be not. Because we got filler banner. I don't know, man. My predictions are now, like, pretty much shot to crap because. If we have filler banners, we can get the connection heroes at any time. Because next week, next week is Charlotte banner, right? So it'll be Charlotte for a week, and then it'll be some other random five star for a week. So it's it's kind of up in the air, man. I don't know. We can we can get the connection heroes at any time, but we still got to get world boss this month. They said that I think they said that that was coming in the July update. So world boss still coming. Summertime outfits. You know, which I think will also come, you know, next week for the data mine. And then we still have Connection Heroes. So, since they did the filler chapters, I mean, they could they could start the next chapter. So, whenever the chapter 3 pops, so maybe next week or the week after that, then we'll get uh, the new Connection Hero. But I don't know who it's going to be. Because I thought it was going to be Calric, but then I forgot that What's-His-Face is uh, Kawazu's pleb sister hasn't come into play yet. So... Yeah, we have that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, Eric, what's up, buddy? Uh, Lamonte, what's up? Alright, let's see what... Well, that's a pretty significant damage increase from Judge, for, just for the skill 3 max. Alright, I want to see how much Dom is going to hit for that. I would have skill 1, because before she was hitting for like uh, 13 to 15k with no Armin. So I want to see what she hits for now with Armin. So let's go for Angelica. 
Wow, still the 10k crit even with Armin. Wow, that's gonna be good, man. Uh, Say, shoot, chilling, playing E7. <laughs> you guys enjoying? You guys enjoying your Molagora, man? That's a lot of Molagora they gave back, man. And the Mola pack is out too. I'm like, man. Like, I need to get on that. Holy crap, my my arena, dude! I dropped so much in arena. Hold on. <laughs> One thirty, fifty One thirty seven. Uh. <laughs> Know what I'm doing on Sunday? I'm climbing. You got 42? Nice, man. I want to see what, uh, what's her. Oh, never mind. We're not going to be able to see. <clears throat> if you have yet to get the rank up, you still have 8 Mola? Yeah, yeah, I picked that up already. I picked that up uh, immediately after I had 65. I like how they're optimizing the Mola, man. If I don't know if you guys were here when this game started, but back in the day, like <laughs> it was crazy, man. We had we had the three tiers of Molagora, right? So Molagora, Molagora Go, and Molagora Go Go, or something like that. It was it was insane, insane. The amount of Mola it took to max kill hero. Wasn't nobody max killing nothing, man. Uh, Alex, what's up, man? <laughs> Alright, let's see what you can do here. <laughs> if I'm down, just hit for 20. <laughs> Yo, bruh. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, dude, I'm excited about the molars, man. Uh, do you think they might open a recall for any hero? I don't think so, man, to be honest. If they do, I'll be really surprised. You know, like, I wouldn't really sweat the recalls for heroes, man, especially because it's like, if you think about it, on, there's only 140 heroes in the game, right? So if you did, I don't know. Let's say, I don't know, two six stars a week, or a six star a week, you know, like eventually you'd have every hero in the game six star, because you're going to six star heroes faster than they're going to come out with new heroes eventually, right? So, it's, it's what it is, and the, the end game goal is to have all the heroes, I guess, and have them all full of skills, so, I don't, I don't foresee a recall unless somebody gets nerfed. Now, if they nerf, nerf heroes, you know, like let's say if they nerfed armor or something, which I don't foresee happening then you'd be able to recall your molas. But, like I said, I, I don't really see that happening, so. You spent all your mola on your wyvern team? Nice, dude, that's a good idea. And that's something, t too, for real, guys. Like, if y'all are struggling somewhere, like, if you guys are still sitting on your mola and you don't really know what to do with them, like, I'd focus on, you know, one team. One team, one fight. Damn, did we just miss all of that? We sure did. Can we get four crits here? Three crits, that works. As long as Emil Dom gets a turn with Gucci. Think we can kill Dizzy here? I think we can kill Dizzy, man. We're gonna go for Armin, though. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss! Yes! Uh, what's my thought about ML Rabincio? I think she's gonna be OP. Like, really OP. Cause, like, she's not, um, she's not limited by, like, regular Ravi, right? Regular Ravi, regular Ravi, you need all the stats, right? But the thing with ML Ravi is you can literally just stack HP on her plus crit and you got a hero. I think she's gonna be easy to build for new hero, new players. She's gonna be good to build for pretty much anybody, man. It's gonna be good, man. Mm. 
Yeah, ML Ravi. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just put a video out for ML Ravi, man. Uh, it got data mine. Uh, Bud Reynolds on ready data mine the joint. But yeah, she's coming, dude. She'll probably be the next one. We'll probably get her skill animations and stuff next week. Bro, go away, Cartuya. Climb to go five. Nice, dude. Correct. Yeah, man, like, I recommend climbing Arena, like, just for the skill rewards, dude. The skill rewards by themselves, or not the skill rewards, but the, uh, the crystal rewards by themselves are pff, amazing. Uh, amazing. Boop. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. What is gear for biking? Uh, I'll show my biking gear here in a second. <laughs> the new artifact plus Aureus. Uh, I don't see, and that's the thing. Like, I don't know if it's gonna stack or not. I don't. I don't feel like it would, man. Because I feel like if that if the new artifact stacks with Aureus, it's just gonna be too OP, man. Like, what? Like, what do you? What do you do against that? Because, cause, you know, what I'm saying because like that damage like nullifies. Pretty much everything. So, I don't... I don't know, man. What do I think about it? I mean, it could be really effective. Uh, if you're going to land the effects. Especially if you stack the bleeds. And then use the skill 3. I think it could be really, really good. But you're still going to need to get the other stats. And it's also going to depend on what type of build you want to put on your biking. You know, are you going for speed? You know, are you going for, you know, other stuff? It just depends. Do I run a few? Heck nah, man. I'm thinking about it, though, man. Think about maybe doing a, uh, like, a start-to-finish challenge. Well, not really a challenge, per se, but just, like, a chronicle. Because, like, I know a lot of people, like, a lot of newer players, they don't really have that guide. Uh, when I played Summers War, like, the reason why I started doing YouTube <laughs> when I started doing Summers War is... I wanted to do a guide to Guardian, right? So, since I didn't really make it high rank, like, I could not never finish. So, like, since we're here, and, like, we got to Legend, it's just, like, I want to do kind of, like, a guide to take somebody from the very beginning to the end. You know, step by step, as if, like, they never played. So, somebody that just never played the game could pick up the guide and say, Alright, this is what I need to do from here to here to here to here to here to here. It's understandable. It's easy to digest. And then, you know, I just help 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 people press the game. Uh, who'd you want to see? My biking? Uh, this is biking right now. Is there any other units you guys wanted to see while we're here? Did I mola my lots? I'm currently building them for BBK. Yeah, I molded them. I molded his. I maxed his skill two, and then I m put skill ups into his skill three to the point where he got the effect chance. Uh, my kid hasn't been touched for a very long time. His stats are pretty subpar. I needed. I re I've been wanting to do some with my kid, man. Want to do like live drain or something? I don't know. I haven't really decided. Uh, my Assassin Car 2 isn't done. Uh, I'm still working on him, but he's on his uh, speed immunity right now. I gotta get his crit chance higher. Um, I'm going for more of a bruiser build. I want to get high defense, probably 12 to 1400 defense, 20,000 HP. And then I want to run him uh, with 100% crit and some FRS. But Car 2 has got a lot of work that needs to be done. And then let's see here. And then RB is here. <clears throat> Do I have Karn? I have regular Karn. I, have, I, I pretty much have every hero in the game, except for some MLs, a few 5 stars, and I have all, all of the 3 stars and 4 stars. I have Den Purge too.
Uh, free to play series will be good so that new players will see how tenured player approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be really good for him. Um, I because like when I put out the tips and tricks video recently, I had a lot of comments people saying like this is hard to pick up. You know, like it, it seems like you know we need experience to really understand this guide. So I want to make a guide that you know kind of like an idiot's guide. Like even if you don't know anything <laughs> at all, never played a Gasha game, don't know what the hell is going on. Like, you could just jump in and be like, okay, boom, this is what I need to do. Uh, this is my Judge Kisei. Did I pull for the men? I did, dude. I pulled quite a bit, man. Didn't get it. Uh, Drew, yeah, man. Ravi's about to be dope. Super hyped. I haven't watched all your videos, so you might have covered this, but who's my first ML5 was Judge Kisei. Um, so, the story, Yorkie, behind my first ML5 pull was... When we started the Snowians Guild, it was the first person to pull an ML5 was Pono Pride, right? So Pono, he pulled one, he pulled uh, Dark Corvus, and then everybody's like, oh, right? And then Wrath, uh, he was in Snowians, he pulled Ruel, and then I, I was telling people, I, I can't remember, it was somebody I was talking to that came to the stream on Twitch, I was like, yo, I'm gonna pull Judge Kisei, I just feel it, you know, you know when you get those feelings, like, yo, I had that nudge, like, that's who I'm gonna pull. And they're like, no, 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 it's not going to happen. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, Judge is going to happen. She just seems like the type of hero that I will pull. And pff, lo and behold, man, first ML5 pull, Judge Kisei came out back in November? I think November is when I, no, not November. Uh, I can't remember. Whenever I did the Judge Kisei video, that's when I pulled her. Uh, next banner is going to be next week, so next Wednesday. It'll be Charlotte. Uh, for the first week, probably, and then it'll be some other Philly hero. Uh, probably, yeah, not gonna stream on Twitch today, friend. Can you see my ML Dom, and what do I think about her being a CR push? Uh, it depends, man. Hold on, let's go to ML Dom. Alright, so, looking at ML Dom, like, it really depends. If she's gonna be your CR pusher, then you need to make sure that, A, you ensure that she gets a turn, Okay. Uh, which is kind of hard because her base speed is low, but well, actually, it's not really hard because the way that her passive works. But you need to make sure that she gets a turn, and after she gets a turn, then the rest of your heroes need to be speed tuned with your ML Dom. So once you, so let's say for instance, for me, my Judge Kisei goes, then my ML Dom goes. After my ML Dom goes, then whatever position she's in, all of my other heroes need to be within 15% of that speed. Right, so probably around 200 speed-ish to ensure that they get a turn based on the current speeds of the rest of the other heroes. Or, or the based on the speed that other people are running in the meadow right now. It might be faster later on, like once people start cracking in the 300 speed, but as of right now, it's about 200. Empty actually got Ludwig. Nice, dude. Grats. Ludwig would be good. Krennic says, I really hope it's Yuffie. Yuffie would be dope. If it's Yuffie, I'm definitely pulling. Uh, did I win? Nah, man. Listen, uh, listen. Tower 100 is not a Marvel Calvary, man. <laughs> uh, ML Bell can be built a ton of ways, but most people nowadays are just building them, you know, as fast as possible with a ton of effectiveness. And, uh... And... Resistance and stuff. Tanky. I rarely, rarely see damage ML Bells. Rarely. I see them occasionally. But rarely. Um, in terms of Charlotte, man, he, this listen guys. And you know, I just I want you guys to take this. What I'm about to tell you, I want you to take this with a grain of salt. But I think I would I would not be surprised if Charlotte got buffed soon. I just want to take take this with a grain of salt. But I wouldn't be surprised if Charlotte got a buff soon. How many ML summons until Judge Kisei? I don't know, man. One? I mean, it only takes one, Yorkie. <laughs> it took me about eight, though. Eight or nine, I think. A lot of good people in, in here in the channel need to hit the thumbs up button. Don't be lazy. Do help provide. Hey, Rizona, I appreciate the love. Uh, do you think Summer Bologna and Karn will be skins or new units? I think they'll be skins. Uh, how they're going to implement that, I don't know. It, the way that they showed it, it seems like it's an event, so it's crazy because I, I definitely expect it to pay for the skins. So, main stats on ML Dom. 
Or this, hold on. I did. Did you? You put some batteries in it? No, it wasn't because of the batteries. What was it? It was because of her hair. Oh, and now it works? Between the, the wheel. Between the wheels? Yes. Yeah. With the dolphins? So then you got it out there and now it works? Yeah. <laughs> you expect dude, I expected I expect to pay. I thought I thought it was gonna be like thirty bucks a skin. I figured they'd give us one for free and then we had to buy the rest of them. I mean I, I was willing to buy anyway. Uh, if you were going to mold a fat gat, fat, fat gat, fat gat, I'd probably go for his passive first, to be honest. Unless you're building up damage and you need the damage numbers, I would probably mold a uh, fatty's uh, skill too. Because, like, his skill too gives him the combat readiness after he dodges. So that's going to make him more effective, especially if you're running him on, like, a Durandal or something. But, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Boom! It's Captain of Chorus right here. I'm at two Champions of Ratos in a row. Nice, Emily. I think Champions of Ratos is going to be really good. Especially with these silly artifacts and stuff coming out now. I think Champions of Ratos is going to be nasty. So I'm trying to make a Guild War team of BBKC, Armin, and Rose. Who should I give Holy Sacrifice to? And who should I give Aureus? Um, Big Weep, I don't... Listen, man, I'm just not a fan of Aureus on Armin. Just cause, like, I <laughs> I treat Armin teams with Aureus on Armus really, really bad, man. Um, I feel like your disposable tank should be the one with Aureus. And then your... The tank that you need, aka Armin that needs to be in there, needs to be the one that has the Noble Oath or whatever. Until your stats get to a point where you're not really concerned uh, about, you know, people cleaving your team... That's that's what I recommend. You just pulled ML Ken? Sick, dude. Congratulations, man. I pulled my second Euphine. Was someone talking about her? Hey, man, that's how it happens. Uh, for Golem and A11, do you think it'd be best to put lots on the team or Rin? Rin? Just because Rin just brings more utility. Rin has the defense break, the strip. Because, you know, and I'm saying this, I'm biased because I use Rin in my A11 team. But yeah. Uh, substats twist this by. <laughs> substats. Like, you know, for instance, like my Luna here. I'll show you guys my Luna. And, and this is just from the Abyss gear. And she was at, before I moved a piece of her gear over, she was at 168 speed on attack boots. So, where's Luna? Luna, where, there you are. So, like, um, right now she's at 155. I changed this chest piece, but she had a 17-speed chest piece before, and she was at 168. So, she's at 223. Now, granted, I, I manipulated her passive, but Luna's one of the easiest heroes to get to 200 speed with those stats. So, that's something that you guys can look at as well. But it, it, what it boils down to is just your subs, man. You get good subs, like, you can make it happen. Cartuya potential? I don't know, man. The thing I don't like about Cartuya is, it, is it's conditional, you know? So, like, he has to be below 50% HP in order for his stuff to kick in, which I, don't, I can't say is going to be good or bad. I mean, his passive offsets that, especially if you have him on Durandil, because he's definitely going to get a turn. But am I willing to go in and, and test that? I can't say that I am yet. Uh, for those of us with horrible luck on pulling above 3-star ML summons, any base 3-star ML you think would be worth investing Mulligoras into? Mm. That's a good question. Well, first I would say, man, it, it, it happens, Jonathan. Like, I can't tell you how many Gunthers and Svens that I've pulled. Like, you guys see the end result <laughs> of, of my pulls. But you have you got a lot of you guys haven't seen the pulls in between, so it's like I've pulled a lot, a lot of three stars, a lot. 
<laughs> so, you know, it's not like it's all hunky dory and everything's good all the time. How do we get to, let's see, all heroes? Here we go. All heroes, ML. Let's see, three star MLs. Um, Pilot, uh, Pilus is good. Arwell can be good. Uh, Axe God is dope. Um, I said Axe God is probably more universal though. Uh, Lorena, as you guys know, is probably one of the highest single target DPS units in the game, and she's a connection hero. Doors can be good too. Harado, Harado's gonna be really good too, especially with the uh, countering ML Ravi and Corvus. Let's see who else. Requiem Roar, I like a lot. I still have mine. Probably one of my favorite. I'm still waiting to pull Gloomy Rain. And is that covered? I think I think that covers most of it. Or did I miss a couple? I actually seen a I fought a Mirsa in Arena the other day. She was actually pretty annoying. She didn't do much damage or anything, but she was she was hard to kill. I do want to build Gunther as a test subject. <laughs> How many ML5s? I have three. I don't know, man. The thing I don't like about, like, Gloomy Rain, I like her kit. I just don't like her, her base stats. Like, she's really squishy. Like, really, 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 really squishy. Yeah, yeah, Doris is actually pretty good, man. I wish she wasn't so slow, but I think outside of that, I think she could be good. Thank you. You almost have SE Lorena? How did I farm gold that fast? Just doing hunts, man. Hunts is the way to do it. I just, listen guys, I've been playing a lot of team fight tactics lately, so typically what I'll do is I'll just find a hunt that I want to run, and I'll just pick the stage, and then I'll just go. <laughs> Play replay. Like, my gear, here's, here's the thing you guys gotta understand about gear is, the amount of gold that you have is a reflection of your gear standard, okay? So like, when you guys are starting out in the game, and you guys are like still keeping blue gear, and like, you guys are still rolling like 70 gear because 70 gear is an improvement for you in a lot of cases you're not really going to have the gold right but then once you start establishing your sets and you get your base gear and then your standards start going up the amount of gold that you have should raise so like if you guys are still rolling on gear because it has one subset that you need so like for instance like let's you know take this helmet for example let's say that these substats didn't match at all let's say all this helmet had was was speed and there was like two other flat stats on there that I know probably didn't need, but I'm still rolling this, dumping cash into this, just to hope to get lucky, that's how you end up broke. Or crafting. If you're crafting, yeah, <laughs> you'll be broke all the time. So, I took a break from crafting and stuff, and I, I'm just farming now. Uh, what is my Guild War ranking? Currently, we are at 52. We're fighting uh, Mango Guild today. <clears throat> What artifact is best for Ses Cleaves now? Uh, Wind Rider is still good, man. To be honest, uh, you can still you can run Ses Cleave pretty much on anything. It, the The most important thing with Ses Cleave though now is that you have to really pay attention to your tar your enemy target's health, because you're not going to be able to get away with that whole explosion damage kill the whole team stuff anymore. So it's like, a you have to speed tune your team now. B uh, so speed tune, I mean that once your Oxlots goes into your Sez, or however you're doing your Sez cleave, you gotta make sure that you probably have a backup unit for the secondary cleave in order to finish clearing the team. Top three Guild War defense units, C. Armin, Corvus, mm, Fallen CC, or Cartuya. Yeah, yeah, probably those heroes. This scene is good too, though. I mean, it's kind of tough, man. There's quite a few of them. Do I sell gears? Uh, depends on how I feel. Sometimes I'll sell them, sometimes I'll feed them. Just depends. If I'm stacking gold, then I'll just sell them, because I know I'm going to be farming. 
a considerable amount. Uh, I'm I'm still trying to figure out a way to work out Moonlight says. I think ML uh, I think Spec says would be really good once you, once I have a team that's speed tuned, because like once I'm running a full speed cleave with the entire team over 200 speed, then I think I can really put says to work. But until then, if I do end up using him, I will speed him up to 200 speed because he has a decent base speed and just get him more as a finisher, not as primary damage, and then. Just kind of move from there, but right now I'm still trying to move towards a move towards a mage com. What about Ruel? Ruel's cool in arena, but Guild Wars is just like you run Armin, Ruel, and what? Outside of Arbiter Vildred, if you run pretty much anything, like Ruel's a lot easier to counter in Guild Wars, in my opinion, than she is in arena. Uh, three Guild Wars damage dealers. Dude, pretty much anybody, man. You can make a lot of heroes work. Violet is good if he gets a turn. If Violet doesn't get a turn, he's not that great. But once Violet gets a turn, he's disgusting. For sure. Would I work on Watcher Shuri or G Purge for Pop Get? Uh... You know, it's funny that you asked that because I'm actually thinking about Watcher right now to counter Corvus. Um, for Guild Wars, um, uh, I don't know, man. Um, both could be good. I say Gen Purge if you know you're gonna get an extra turn. Uh, Watcher if you're just trying to take out a team. So, for instance, like, let's go to Guild War real quick. I think we're getting crushed right now. Um, uh, World Boss, let's go. Oh, man, we're getting smashed. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> They're already on our tower. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, so... Hmm, let me find an example. Trying to find. I know there's gonna be a C Armin team around here somewhere. All right, so well, this is a good one too. Um, but let's say like, no, nope, it's not a good example. <laughs> it's kind of tough, man, because G Purge is like you, you're typically gonna put them in like a bruiser comp where you know that you're gonna get attacked and you're gonna survive. So versus like Watcher Shuri is there to single out like Guild War defenses that have like one team. You know what I mean? that like or one threat so like for this team you can watch assure this corvus and then all you got to deal with is dizzy and clurry right versus this team let's just pretend that ml bell didn't have any cc and let's say you had a high resistance you know squad or you had a bruiser squad then you can kind of like gen purge gen purge will get hit then he'll he'll go right and let's say if your gen purge is on immunity he'll use the skill three because it moves up to 100 percent stun and you can lock this team down but yeah it just depends dude You just got Ludwig and Blaze Dingo. Should pair the should I pair the two? I have a Conti's. Uh you could man. The 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 kicker though is if you guys are trying to run Ludwig cleaves, is you have to be sure that you're gonna get your cleave off before your team dies. Cause if you're in a situation where you're up against Dizzy or some kind of stripper and they strip your invincibility before your before your Ludwig actually gets a turn, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. So, like, Ludwig Cleave is amazing, but it's not the easiest to run. So, that you know, that's something that you guys got to look at as well. Is Biken? Absolutely, dude. Biken is crazy, dude. Uh, is my Arbiter, his 2 and 3 are maxed now. Um, his third has been maxed for a long time. Uh, his second skill I just maxed today. I am not in a rush to max this first, although I probably should be. You think it's a stretch to say we might get an ML 5 star anniversary? Probably, Greg. <laughs> probably. On the topic of the swimsuit skin speculation, uh, the data mine didn't show a unique. Uh, 
I don't know, man. Uh, York, we just gonna have to wait and see, man. Hopefully, it's a new animation. I think it'll be real cool. But if not, you know, skins are skins. <laughs> I, Greg, bro, I feel you. I feel you. That would be pretty cool if they did that. But nah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Especially if they're using ML5s as kind of like PvP focus specifically. Yeah, I don't think so. You imagine the whole server, everybody pulls like, you know, like a meta PvP unit. Ridiculous. Yeah, there's so much you could do with Biken. Would you say that Biken could be a dedicated? Yeah, I used Biken as my dedicated CR push for a very long time. I'm actually trying to get her back up to the speed that she was at so I can use her. Like, she is so good for a uh, CR push lead because she is a ML Bell counter. She is she is the, the unit that deals damage and also grants more turns for your team. Like, Biken is good, man. When I, you know, when I made that bi biking video a long time ago, man, I was like, look, y'all, biking OP. People were like, no, nah, she's trash. <laughs> Shit, look at Soul Bad Guy compared to biking, and what's, what's everybody using Soul Bad Guy for now? Nothing. Where you, you see biking, though. Do you think Corvus will get nerfed? Ah, uh, I don't think he'll get nerfed as fast as a hero will come out to counter him. Because there's a lot of counters for Corvus, to be honest, so... Could he get nerfed? Yeah. Could they reduce the amount that he heals? Sure. But there's just a ton of ton. There's tons of ways to counter Corvus, so it's it's kind of up in the air. Should I six star Sermi or ML Mercedes? I think ML Mercedes is gonna have more utility for you overall, Isaiah. Uh, like you can use ML Mercedes in all of your team comps essentially, whereas Sermi is gonna be very specific. Has anyone brought up to Smilegate about facial expressions showing up? Dude, they need to fix that, man. I would love to see my facial expressions that I put on my characters in the actual combat. I think that would be good. Do I think Shrey's Banner is this month or next month? Uh, sometime in between. I think they'll tease it. Um, the thing that kind of throws me off about the Shrey's Banner, j -Bud, is that we got the one-year anniversary coming up for Korea in August, at the end of August. So, it might be around there or it might be before. But we definitely got to wait and see. <laughs> You're sad you didn't. Yeah, a lot of people are, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't really worry about it, Epic, just because there's going to be a ton of other uh, limited banners and stuff like that coming. You just got to make sure you're here for these and don't miss them. Which one should I six star, Vildred or Biken for Banshee Eleven? My team now is Dizzy Tama. Uh, Tien, like when I when I get into situations like that, and I I'm, and I find myself struggling and frustrated when I was like, well, you know, who should I six star? Because they're normally between two choices. I would just do both. Just get enough six star fodder for both, because you'll end up using both anyway. Especially if you're thinking about doing sub one minute uh, banshee runs. Am I running R and L? I think so. I think she's on R and L right now. Oh yeah, just kidding. I'm lying. I don't even. I don't know. I moved my R and L to somebody. I just can't remember who I moved it to. Is it on Biken? No. It might be on Biken. I can't remember. I moved, I have a plus 15 RNL. It's some, it's floating around somewhere. I just have no idea. Do I think Spectre Tenebria is a good... There's people that use Spectre for Wyvern. There's people that use Spectre Tenebria for everywhere. It just depends on, you know, what you got. Uh, what's my lab run team? Most units, I'm just bad at making teams. Raid stresses me. Uh, what, uh, what raid are you talking about, Dylan? Normal or... Uh, hell. Yeah, Bike and Oxlus is pretty crazy. I ran a team comp today. <laughs> I used it against the Corvus, so it was pretty funny. Oh, that's a cool snowman. Why is it so tall? I don't know. Yeah, that's just how they built it. This is how I built it. Ooh. But yeah, I'll go to Raid here in a second. I think I got two, uh... I think I got two entry tokens anyway. I pulled Arbiter Villager last week. Who are... <laughs> Um, Arbiter Vildra is good with anybody, man. Ronald McDonald, uh, Grape Bait, uh, the, the, the general from Kentucky Fried Chicken, man. You can put him with anybody. I was hoping for Sez to get a raid up, but he didn't come, so I summoned, hoping to get him and got Tenebria. Nice. 
<laughs> Biking became toxic. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Uh, for raid, I like to use Destina, Soul, Spectre, Tenebria, and Assyria. I I personally use the same teams. I run Dian, Angelica, Dizzy, and Luna, or Dizzy and Soul Bad Guy. And I run both of those teams. But you can run anything you want, man. I think I think the most important thing when you guys are going into raid is to really look at you know the mechanics of whatever it is you're getting ready to fight. So, for instance, if let's say we go to Asmacallus and let me see, go up in here real quick. <clears throat> so, like, if you're fighting Queen, right, then you know that. You probably want to remove harmful effects or grant immunity, right? So that's important. And you also want to have a team that can sustain, you know, through the boss, right? And deal enough damage. If you're going against this dude, you just need to make sure you deal enough damage and you can just kill him, right? Our Hakan is, is just making sure that A, either immunity and or cleanse, so like a Montmo or something, to keep the harmful effects off and then enough damage so you can manage the spiders especially if you guys are doing hell otherwise if it's just normal just kill the spiders and just deal with it secretary vera is just dealing no harmful effects and then keeping your team alive and then this dude is just aoe so if you have aoe to break him out of stealth you pretty much can win is nixie i mean it has good gear relative to where you know where you're at when you go through nixie but i i can't say that I would rely on Nixie Sanctum <laughs> for like gear to carry you. Does my E7 app run smoothly or does it lag up? Mine lags up a lot on the computer. Um, I haven't really had lag issues with Nox. Eric Turner says it's my mission to show Cartier your potential. Dude, please, uh, Eric Turner, man, build that dude up, man. Let me know how he is. Because I was, I was planning to build him once I heard about the two times multiplier, but then once I heard it was below 50%, I was like, eh. But let me know. Let me know how it works out for you. What's a good team count for Abyss 90? I use Dizzy, Dizzy, Luna, Angelica, Dien, and Dizzy, Luna, Angelica, Dien. Yeah, that's what I used. I, I ran Dien on Wondrous. I ran my Dizzy over 200 speed. And Luna was just there to deal damage. Although I've heard a lot of people are using Mamo. It can help to tank up your Dizzy and speed her up so she gets more turns. Um, when I did it, I ran her on Etika's, I think. I don't know why she's on Etika's right now. <laughs> she should be on Abyssal. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, guys. Like, when you when you guys are looking at gear, like, when you're farming, like, try not to treat this as a case-by-case -case basis because when you play these types of games long enough, I, and, I, and I, really, I really need you to understand that one piece of gear, that one gear drop can literally change everything. So you're not, it, it's just, it's just going to take some time. Like, these, these types of gacha games are not short game games. Like, it's for the long game. So you just gotta be patient, man. You know, a long enough time scale, you'll get everything you need. <clears throat> hey, dude, can you do uh, raid in hell mode? I can. I just don't have any tokens right now, man. I gotta I gotta kill queen in normal, then I'll get a token. And then uh, I still gotta do Arahakan. I killed Carcanus in hell already. I'm waiting for them to hurry up and unlock the rest of the raid, man. <laughs> so we can get some 88 gears. <laughs> Uh, it depends, Red Monkey. So, I've heard uh, quite a few things. So, Red Monkey, like, like for instance, if you're running AMD, a lot of people running AMD have trouble with Nox. Not uh, just because of the way the virtualization works, or you have to enable virtualization in your BIOS. Um, a lot of those people, I've heard, switch to, like, LD Player instead. Um, and there's stuff like that. But most of the time, it's just because you don't have virtualization enabled. I'm thinking about building SC Lorena though for this dang tower. 
I told myself I was never going to do a specialty change because it takes so long. <laughs> uh, how should you build ML Ken? Uh, most people are building them damage, man, but I would definitely make sure you get some HP and some defense on them, along with the damage. Am I excited? Yeah, I'm excited, man. That's, that's the next step in our evolution. Because regular arena does, I mean, it's cool. I mean, you get a ton of crystals and stuff, but the proof in the pudding is RTA. I got every lab to 100%. What should I do with lab entries after finishing raid every week? I don't know. That's a good question. Metal, <laughs> metal dessert. That's a that's a situation I haven't experienced yet. <laughs> I guess just hold on to them. <laughs> I don't like the whole one-shot kill system in Arena and Guild. I think they should fix that. I think it's... Listen, I mean, you say that, Eric, but, you know, like, I'm not trying to spend 10 minutes fighting every team climbing an Arena. Because, listen, you you climb a Legend, could you imagine, bro? It's Sunday, and it takes you 10 minutes every single fight. You gotta start... That means you're gonna be doing Arena all day. You're going to have a 16-hour day uh, just doing arena fights so you can get and maintain rank. No thanks. Do you recommend Luna Karin for double 11 DPS? Or is there a better DPS you would use if I had? Um, Luna Karin's cool. I just, you know, like I'm not in a rush to make my teams like super fast. Because when I, I sat down and I did the math, like if you did, like for instance, like let's say my river run was a minute, minute and a half every single time and uh, you know I came on stream and I was like hey guys look how fast my run is what you guys didn't know is that to run that the amount of time that I played this game would cost me seventy four hundred dollars a month so not interested in that yeah I think friend battles will come once RTA drops uh, silver server what's up man how you doing Yeah, but see, Eric, like, that is going to be solved when RTA comes out. Like, I don't know if you've done RTA before, but once RTA happens, like, that's, those are the fights that you're looking for. I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't even, to be honest, take a regular arena seriously, because once RTA comes out, like, with real-time arena, it's a whole different beast, man. This is, now we're talking competitive, like, it's, it's just a whole different beast. So I would just be patient. I wouldn't even sweat. Arena, to be honest, like, I feel like everybody should have a speed cleave team for regular arena just to get crystals. Because once RTA comes out, your arena rank doesn't mean anything anymore. It's going to be RTA rank. Lulica? RTA, you will troll the Enot? <laughs> RTA is going to be crazy, man. I can't even. Units like Ravi, ML Ravi, ML Cecilia, uh, not Cec well, yeah, ML Cecilia too. Uh, regular Cecilia, uh, Destina, a tanky Judge Kisei. Heroes like that, I think, are going to be really, really strong. Really, really strong. <laughs> Why am I not on Twitch? I was streaming on YouTube today. You might be right. It's still over in three turns at best, even in RTA. Depends. Mola refund gave you 31 moles. Nice, dude. How did you build Motmo before the spec change? And after? Did it stay? I didn't build Motmo at all pre-spec change. <laughs> Motmo got built post-spec change. <laughs> Because for me, like, there was no point to have Motmo pre-spec change. But then after they release her spec change, then, yeah. Then now she's a beast. Uh, the thing that makes farming so annoying on the mobile device is the fact that there is no, like, auto feature to just do runs. I mean, people say that, man. But, I mean, you gotta you got to look at everything that comes with that, though. You know what I'm saying? A, it's going to cost you more money. B, you then have to, like, <laughs> pay attention to your inventory space. 
even more than usual, you know, like, there's, there's a lot that goes with that, man. Did, did I mola anyone yet? Yeah, my molas are done. I went through in like five minutes. I was like, yeah, man, we're going to stream doing my molas because I thought it was going to take me like 20, 30 minutes. The man, I think it was going in like five minutes. Feeling kind of stuck. Uh, would you be down to take a look and see what's up? Uh, I do not do account reviews or anything of that nature. But if you got questions, MRT, just ask in the chat. Um, I have it on Luna. Don't have any good warrior artifacts. Cool, cool. I'm working on spec changing right. Yes, baby. Holy moly. Looks like Minecraft. Uh, I think TG spec change will probably come. I think all, I think every single three star here in the game will probably get spec change. Should I summon for a little bit or save? F guns, I mean, it's up to you, man. Because we're not really going to have another new hero banner for another three weeks. So, if you want to pull for a little bit, pull for a little bit. Because if Charlotte banner's next, Charlotte's side story is next week, that's two weeks. We'll have Charlotte for a week. Another filler hero, whoever that'll be, and then, and then new banner. So you you got a while before we even see a new banner, other other than ML Ravi, right? So, yeah. I think Tanfa is good on Luna. Oh yeah, Pavel. Yeah, I wonder when he's gonna drop. Am I saving? Uh... No man, cause I guess I kind of want ML Zerato, and I still want to pull for Cecilia. I might. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna save, man. I'm just gonna keep summoning, and then when ML Rabbit comes out, I'll just buy all the Mystic packs. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, nah, DJ. Uh, four one hundred is against my religion, man. Uh, she's not just useful for killing Arbiter, she's gonna be a counter to ML Ravi too. And she counters through well comps. You gotta wait for Sess. <laughs> How much mole? I got 46. I think ML Ravi will be PvP and PvE. Yeah, I think ML Ravi is really easy to build. I think she is the free to play friendly ML5. Not in terms of pulling, but in terms of using. Because I, when I look at other ML heroes, I think ML Ravi is probably the easiest ML hero to build. Literally. Is it alright to use Ken as a tank? I mean, you can, uh, but you're going to have to make sure that you're able to deal with the extra turns that the weapon is going to get. Because sometimes when you run um, a non-element, non-water element, he just randomly gets an extra turn for no reason. Uh, Lilibet, what was Lilibet's artifact? Oh, the chance to not get a cooldown proc? Yeah, I think that'd be good once it's maxed. I, I couldn't foresee, I, could, I, I couldn't even think of myself using that artifact as a level 1 artifact on anybody. But once it's maxed, I think it could be good. But, like, it's really tough though, man, because, like, why would you use that artifact over, like, a Strax or a Els Fist or... Or the, the the act of valor, for that matter, you know. Who's my most uh, Armin? Crimson Armin. That's all I want. <laughs> like you know, can I get you know? Can I join the club? You know, jeez. <clears throat> How do I get to level sixty-five? Play the game. Just play the game. But now, in terms of heroes that I, I really want, I want, um, yeah, Armin, really, I guess. You know, if I pull five-star MLs, I'm, I'm grateful, but Armin is really who I want. Because she's just so easy mode, man. Like, you don't even have to do anything. You just put gear on her, you just stand her there, and your defense rate automatically goes up 20%. <laughs> it's like the easiest hero to use in the game. <laughs> I've been saving up PvP currency for the gear in the shop, uh, but I don't know if I should get them or wait for the next season gear. I have enough for two items. 
Rizona, if you haven't bought the weapon, the jewelry, and the boots, I would get those. The chest and the helmet are super whack, but the other items are really good. I would get them before Season 3 starts here in a few weeks. Because you got, you got a whole, you know, you got a whole season to get the next set of gear. Whereas you don't have a whole season right now. So I would definitely, definitely get those pieces because they're good. Best unit overall, both that can be used in PvP and PvE, Vildred. Hands down. Not Arbiter, regular. Um, I really want Sigret. She looks promising. Yeah, she's alright. IMO, Border Coin is way better on Sermia. I think that, that, that Border Coin was specifically made for Sermia. Because who else are you going to put it on? Enot? <laughs> Uh, I see you using Karn for Wyvern. Should I remove my Soul Bad Guy? Um, no, so Lawrence, what happened was I was running Soul Bad Guy and I was wiping. And I didn't realize... And the reason why my team was wiping is because I took Rada and Marius off at the end. It wasn't because it was Soul Bad Guy in there. So I put Karn in there yesterday. And I just never made the change. So... Oh, coin on Cor Corvus could be good, but I wouldn't use coin on Cor Corvus. I'd probably use Strax or Durandal. Do I think Charles is worth dude? Char dude, if Charles comes out, I'm going for Charles, man. Charles is good, bro. He's really good. I mean, I have his artifact full of max. I pulled like seven of his artifact. Couldn't get a Charles. Charles is one of the heroes that I wanted so bad. Or if, or when ML Charles comes out, they can give it give me that guy. What are my Karn stats? I'll show our stats here in a second. Actually, I'll show them right now. Pulled a bit since we are not getting a new hero. You got a little bit nice, Cure Killer Grats, dude. That's awesome, man. Yeah, frame, I'm not allowed to have Bologna, so, you know, uh, I'm not even focused on that. <laughs> Couldn't even get a decent hero, mostly artifacts. I think I overlooked something because I'm just realizing whenever I'm up against a Cartuya, I don't crit with my 100% crit Viking. Uh, Cartuya has a 15% chance to dodge. Well, he grants a 15% chance to evade all attacks to the party. So that's why you miss. Super RNG. How did I use my slates? Only got one because I made the mistake of not buying season one slate. So I used it on Dizzy because she was already double S, so I just triple S'd her. What's the most crystals you spent on a unit? Nine K. Yeah, nine K. Do I think Sigrid is good? Yeah, I think she's good for dragon. Yeah, I got, honestly, guys, like, when I get to that point, like, where I feel myself tilting, and if I don't pull, like, I'm not going to keep pulling. Because, like, I've, I've played games like this long enough, you know, like, I slip sometimes, but it's Dizzy. Dizzy was the hero. But I slip sometimes, but I don't, I'm not the dude that's like, yo, I'm just going to spend thousands of dollars until I get it. No, it's just like, listen, man, whatever you meant to have in life won't pass you by. It's just what it is. Good job, baby. You went up another star and a half. That's good. Almost there. So now you got to do, what, design? Oh, you got to get more entertainment. Mm -hmm. How long are the new ML units available? 40 days. So when you guys look... Oops, wrong button. First day. So when you guys look at the, the ML summons, it's now they're staggered. So what'll happen is in six days, or sorry, in 13 days, 11 hours and 45 minutes, MLCC will swap out, Zerato will stay. 
So Emil Ravi will be here next week. We'll get the next week. Emil Ravi will be added to the game, so you'll be able to look at her stats and skills and all that stuff next week. Um, and then the week after that, Emil Ravi will be here. Zarata will stay, and then two weeks after that, Zarata will go away. The new ML four star will then be placed here, and then two weeks after that, the new ML five will be. So now they staggered it. Uh, Benjamin Graham, what's up, buddy? Appreciate the love, man. Welcome. I think, honestly, I, I just think Lilibet is really hard to build. I, I think a lot of people just don't have the gear for Lilibet right now. How many Molag get back? I got 46. I don't want to pull Lilibet just because I don't really have a use for it right now. <laughs> I've been pulling off banner trying to get like Chloe or something. Any tips in getting 200 plus speed? Just get better gear, man. 200 speed is not hard to get, man, to be honest. It's just really not hard. It's literally like a speed set plus like six to eight speed per piece. Like it's it's really not, it's not difficult. The only time it's going to be difficult to get 200 speed is if you're not running a, a speed set. Um, I mean, that's cool. I mean, people can make videos about whatever they want, man, you know? How do I feel about Spez? I feel like I don't have a position for Spez right now, but I feel like if I had the team to build Spez, then he would be great. Do I have a favorite looking hero? Um, it's a non-release hero, this dude Dunkel. He's not out yet, but that that's that's the guy that I want. Uh, you think steeple is worth maxing? Absolutely. What sanctuary buildings aren't worth upgrading? We'll just look at my sanctuary, man. That'd probably be the easiest way. So, uh, my high command, nah, high command ain't worth maxing. Uh, steel workshop, I think should be a three for three. Alchemist steeple should be three for three. Um, if you guys are about that force of soul's life, this could be another three, three, three. If you guys are free to play, then this building could be real nice for you guys as well. To offset. Well, this this building really is good for anybody. Um, if you triple three this one, uh, just because you get more crystals, more gold and stuff. So this could be good, especially over a long period of time. This is probably a lot of crystals that I'm missing out on. Yeah. SC Mont, absolutely. Montmo is. In my opinion, probably the best SC right now. If not the best, top three. Uh, listen guys, Destina does not need a buff, man. <laughs> Destina is OP. I use Momo more than Angie. Momo's good, man. She just has more utility. Slayer, what's up, buddy? But yeah, Destina does not need a buff. She's ridiculous. Get 100 alt accounts to 710 for free Mystic. I must have an MO <laughs> uh, That's hilarious. How many Max Mola characters do you have? Uh... Two? <laughs> two? Yeah, yeah, literally, dude. Like, like two or three, maybe. Because I was too busy putting my molas all over the place. I remember when Global just released out Destina was considered to be the best. Yeah, dude, like, Destina's still good, man. It's just, I, you know. In the beginning, it was Destina Says. Everybody's like, Destina Says. And my first six star was Terranor Guard. And everybody's like, oh, Terranor Guard's trash. And then, then everybody used Terranor Guard. <clears throat> just kind of funny. Do you feel like they should make ML Summons just a tad more frequent? Nah, man. I feel like they should make ML Summons less frequent, to be honest. Like, them... Because, I think the issue is, is because they made ML Summons part of the Mystic Summons, makes them readily available for everybody. So, they're, they're a lot more consistent. Whereas... You know, like when I when I was used to playing Summoner's War, it was your chance to pull an ML was like 0.3%. So like if you've seen an ML, it was, you know, like, oh man, it was serious. You had to pay attention. So, no. You know, that, that's, 
That's 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 just my opinion though. Like I think players, like a lot of players, a lot of people in this game don't really understand how good they have it, man. <laughs> like they don't really understand like how good it actually is, how how much stuff we actually get. Cause you know, the games that I've played, pff, bruh. You know, all you know, all the hooping and hollering, crying and complaining, pff, didn't mean nothing. I keep hearing about limited banners. Are they ones with chance increase? Limited banners. How limited banners work, Josh Price? Is let's say it's uh, let's say it's Ronald McDonald. We're gonna have a Ronald McDonald limited banner. What's gonna happen is in that banner, Ronald McDonald is the only five star that you can pull. And with the limited banners, is if you don't pull Ronald McDonald within 120 summons, you get him on the 121st guaranteed. So, three hundred dollars. But if you do get him. Within the 120 pulls, then the, your counter that's in the top left corner goes back to zero. Oh, are you? Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. That's cool. What are you going to put for entertainment? Oh, so you, your decorations are entertainment. Oh, that's cool. Uh, do those get added to the regular pool? They, they're already in the regular pool. Even So when they get added to the Mystic Summon pool, they're already in... Oh, are we talking about limited summons? Limited summons don't get added to no pools. If you don't pull the limited heroes, when they release the limited banners, you're pretty much out. That's why I tell people like in my videos before, I'm like, look, if it's a limited banner, I don't care what your opinion or what you think of the hero, you just need to go ahead and get it, regardless. Now, Sam Lee says, move from Summoners where This game rates are pretty good, except the energy consumption. Yeah, the energy consumption in this game is... Whew. It's rough. It's rough. But summon rates, bro, 2%? To get an ML5? That's a 1 in 50. That's crazy. That's insane. Insane good. My car and hits like a wet noodle. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. That's the number one question. Uh, some pass on biking. Yeah, man. I, I, you know, it's crazy. Those people that pass on biking probably kicking themselves for it now. <laughs> I told him, man. I tried to tell him, Lamonte. I was like, look, man. Look. Get biking. She's OP. They said, nah, D. You're misleading the community. Say they told me the same thing when I said when I said DN was OP. I was like, look guys, get DN. She's OP. They said, nah, she doesn't even heal. <laughs> I'm like, alright. Okay. You know, you do you do you, boo boo. Do you. I only had three summons left to get her, but I didn't finish because I was so mad it took me. Oh, man. Most OP unit? Armin. <laughs> Is that even a question? Armin. Armin, Armin, Armin. Armin. Armin, Armin, Armin. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. 605, actually. I went full 120 on Luna and Dien. Uh, Dizzy and Biken actually treated me very well, but Luna, uh, not so much. The end, not so much. Worst five star? Huh. Worst five star. Dang, that's a good question. Worst five star. Oh, man. Because I think, you know, because with the five star, like, I think it's easy to confuse good or bad with frequency of use. So, because, you know, it's easy to assume that just because you don't see a hero used that often, that it's bad. But it's not necessarily that it's bad. It's just nobody's really doing what it takes to make it work. Uh, ML Armin. Yeah. 
I mean, regular Armin's good too, but yeah, see Armin. She's stupid. Haste is actually really strong. He is his base speed 120, and he has one of the highest multipliers uh, for a skill kit in the game. Haste is hard. And at a 120 base speed, like I'm, I, I, cause it was it was crazy when I streamed the other day, man. Cause I never really looked at his stats. I only just looked at his skills when I started playing this game, and that's why I was hyped about him. But I, I think Haste could be nasty, man. And not only that, guess who we can counter? Corvus. So, cause Haste got the recovery block. He's, uh, yeah. Haste actually would be crazy on a Bruiser squad, man, with that life steal. Man, I'm man about a six star haste today. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, man, Martel, don't listen, man. Leave, leave Card alone, man. She didn't do nothing to you, man. She's enjoying her life at level fifty. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some heroes have very specific niches that can be pretty bad in certain aspects. We're shining. Yeah, yeah, and exactly what Sam Lee says, man. You just, yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, man, you guys got to learn the basics, but don't do something just because everybody else is doing it. Because if you find something with a, with a hero that could work or works for you that might not necessarily work for everybody else, do it. How long does it take me to six-star hero? Dude, if I'm going ham, I can do a, a six-star hero in six hours, five, six hours. I can do a couple six stars a day if I'm like really going crazy. Thank you, Thank you Snowy. Hi, Snowy. Queen. Yes, you are the queen. We named our guild after you, Snowy. I love <laughs> Snowy says hi, everybody. I love <laughs> uh, Zeno is not the worst. I'm actually thinking about Zeno and my rabbit combos. ML Vildred versus normal Vildred. Hmm. I think ML Vildred wins now. But in terms of overall utility, I think regular Vildred still takes the cake. Yeah, so so who you guys just saw was Snowy. That's what we named our guild after. So when you guys see Snowians, you know, we uh <laughs> we're, yeah, under the under the queendom of Snowy. Yeah, regular CC is amazing. Dude, I'm telling you, regular CC is, uh, regular CC is, pff, dude, she's about to dominate an RCA. If you're farming anything in Adventure, nobody, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks, Brian. I gotta get him faster, man. He's kind of, I'm still getting outsped by some bales and dizzies, man. I gotta fix it. I max skilled this three today, so we can capitalize on countering cleave teams. But I noticed the problem is just like, you know, in like high champ legend, like people see you all the time. So now they're starting to build. Like, so now when they see my defense, they know what I'm running. So now they're starting to run like Armin with their cleave. Bastards. Because <laughs> normally people would just hit me with full cleaves and I just bash them out, right? But now they're like, uh-uh, I'm bringing tanks with me. I think so. I think we've got a high probability of that happening. So, is it normal to spend 5k sky stones and get nothing? 5k sky stones isn't that much, bro. That's not even a limited summon, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't... Listen, guys. Don't waste your crystals on summoning. Alright? <laughs> like, there's... Like, you literally can get through this entire game, like, PvE-wise, with the connection heroes and the stuff that they give you. You know? So, like, if you pull a hero, you pull a hero. But I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't waste... You ran a 254 speed dizzy? Oh, we didn't get the silence off? That's probably what it is, because my ox last is 265. Unless we just had unless I just had a better roll. Oh no no, he's 256. No, 260? No, I think it's 256, yeah. I probably I probably I, you probably had the roll.
Uh, what do I think about Corvus S. Sakati, Sir Charles, and Mokin as a defense? Um, I think that team would get stomped out, dude. <clears throat> See, I saw. What is my ox? I don't even know. He's either 256. Is it 256? Yeah, I think it's 256. See, that's why I gotta get him faster, man. These pleb dizzies I'd be running into, man. That's alright. Farm whatever until I die. Um. Yeah, see, so the issue with that team is Essa Sakati's AI on defense is dumb. So she's she ain't really even doing anything for you. And your your ML Ken probably has 15k HP. So him and that Charles gonna get stomped out first and foremost. And then Essa Sakati's is if she's still alive, she's just gonna heal herself. Cause she's an idiot. And if she gets another turn, then she'll revive, but she won't revive. She she does absolutely does not work like Ruel if her HP is below 50%. Um, and then if Corvus doesn't get a turn, you're pretty much screwed. TG, both. But yeah, you can run TG and, uh, what's the name for, what's the name? Uh, Brian, are you, uh, Brianator? Is that who you are in, uh, Arena? What do I think about him? I don't have a place for him, man. You save 11,500... Listen, guys. <laughs> save your bookmarks for limited banners. Don't save your crystals. Because if you're using those crystals to farm, you're going to get bookmark drops, bro. You know? Like... If you save your, your bookmarks over a long period of time, like, you can save the bookmarks. If you're saving your crystals, you ain't getting no gear, man. You're not making no progression. Epic face. Epic face. Epic face. Ah, uh, I don't... Epic face? I, I don't... I don't know. Uh... I don't remember that team. What, t what team do you use? Did you make it, Ryan? <laughs> Ravi SC Montmo Dizzy Common. I I feel like I've seen that name before somewhere, man. I'll probably see it again. You gotta get it, man. If you get it, dude, if you get a chance, bro, you gotta do that legend climb, bro. Those crystal rewards are nasty, bro. So good, bro. Uh, I think it's, in total, it's like seven seven or eight K crystals for, uh, for all of the rewards. It's, dude, it's crazy, bro. I'm, dude, I'm rooting for you, Brian, because, bruh, especially, especially if you're running low on crystals, dude. Because <laughs> I was, man. I was like, man, I need some damn crystals. <laughs> Good death with MLCC. MLCC and Armin plus two. If you're not running Armin, you're still going to want to get some damage reduction in there. Yeah, I did attack you, Warball. You damn Corvus, man. I couldn't kill him. I hit you when you were at 5180 uh, two days ago. He kept resisting everything, man. Could, couldn't get through that dude, man. So I just skipped it. Oh, and... Uh, Yo, if you guys are looking for like PvP strategy, check out uh, Warbolt's channel. Yeah, man, I hit his Corvus, man. I was like, man, what the hell? <laughs> uh, 
I'm completely free to play player. Your thoughts on this team? Vilja, Lorena, Lulica, Five Star, Montmo. Oh, for defense? Sick, dude. I don't even remember what you were running, man. I just remember that Corvus. You know you're broke when your crystals are higher than your gold. Oh wow, that's uh, that's pretty rough. A little bit. Uh, do I think Lulica's? Yeah, about that. <laughs> I think Lulica is a great manual hero. Like if he's if you're manually, I think Lulica is great. If you're auto wing, not so much. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, to, God, man, I really want to pull ML Zerato before this uh, fades out because. I feel like ML Zerato, uh, with his positioning with the Ignore Resistance, is going to be strong, especially with the new artifact coming and with everything set up the way that it is. Because that AoE Death Break is going to be huge. I need to get that so I can iron out my cleave. Because uh, I, I just really want to get my team to the point where I don't care what you have on your squad and just dumpster it all the way to them. <laughs> I think ML Zerato might be that key. You pulled Zerato yesterday? Dude. That ignore resist on his skill 3 with that defense break, I think is going to be so clutch. Because everybody, you know, like, what's everybody running? ML Armin, uh, Ruel, and Fallen Cecilia. But, like, if you could just AoE death break that, what, I mean, what do you have to worry about? Nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even, he don't even have to, he don't never have to land the attack break. <laughs> All I need to do is land that death break. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think he's. I think. I think. Man, I think that dude is the answer to everything in this meta, especially if you don't want to run like a tank, like a tank cleave. Because listen, man, who, who wants to be doing 15 minute arena matches? Not this guy. I think the the challenge though is just speed tuning him. But if you speed tune your team, I think, phew, I think he'd really be dumb. Dumb. <laughs> uh, ML Zerato, the, the little Earth dude, who's so strong but doesn't want to fight nobody. So you do the, oh, bro. My my heart my heart and prayers go out to you. <laughs> but your 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 win consistency your win rate consistency is is probably up there though. I I got a buddy in our guild, Timber man. He does them too, man. He he rolls with the Dark Corvus offense. He tells me about how long it takes, and I'm like, eh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's against my religion. Snowy Bachi. No? I didn't know. Reddit meme says ML Zerato. Listen, man. You gotta stop listening to Reddit, man. Just don't even go to Reddit for data mines. Stay away from the unit advice. Granted, there's some credible advice on Reddit, but you gotta look for it. You really gotta look for it. Oftentimes, it's just like most of the stuff that people say are subjective. So when they say like, "Oh, this unit's trash," because they don't really have the gear to build the hero, and it's off of first impression, unskilled not invested in no team synergy right so you really gotta pay attention to that because if you listen guys just for example reddit said dark corvus is horrible that dark corvus hasn't changed mind you dark corvus's kit has been the same since day one all right day one that dude's been a beast since day one <laughs> and they've said that the, dude reddit was the people they used to say the dark corvus is terrible all right Doesn't know what to rename it either. 
So how would I build Emil's Rato? I don't know. Um, I'd ha I like I gotta pull him first and really like see how I'm positioned, because the thing with Emil's Rato is I'm probably gonna need a Taga Hills, right? So I'm gonna need Taga Hills Ancient Book because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the burn so I can ignore resistance. So I'd have to position my Zerato in a way where he would get a turn and then my cleave would get a turn. So I don't know. It's kind of tough because he would just have to go before my cleave. As long as I went before my cleave. So I probably have to put him in third position and then I'd have to speed up my Arbiter Builder. Probably to 180 to 200. So yeah that's probably what i'd have to do <clears throat> dude that, and that's and that's just what it is but you know that's that's just how it is man like it'll be like that forever like there will always be new heroes that come out and people are going to be like oh they're trash blah 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 and then they'll either get buffed or changed or somebody will do some kind of showcase and then, and then yeah, then I'll change. Crozet is a very good thing. Crozet is probably one of the best heroes in the game right now. I would I would take advantage of what you're able to get away with with uh, what well not Crozet. Sorry man, I think I, <laughs> I was thinking about Corvus. My bad. Uh, but <laughs> Crozet, regular Crozet, Water Crozet is actually pretty good too. He has some of the highest uh, base defensive stats in the game. I was actually thinking about building him for an arena defense. Bask is good too, but his cooldowns are really long, like really, really long. Maybe build Judith into ML Zoranto. See, I mean, Brian, I mean that could work. I just because what I'm thinking about is Bale, right? Because like. Once you get into Legend, it's like every every Bale and Suzanne is like 240, 250. So, <clears throat> like, Judith could work, but you'd have to be sure that you can cut that Bale and Suzanne. Um, and then at that point, your ML Zerato would have to deal enough damage to cause Bale and Suzanne to do a skill 3. And then also, you also have to deal with immunity. K-Ron's on immunity, you know, all that BS. So... I think there's a lot more that goes into making ML Zerato work. You know, oh man, that's crazy, man. You know it'd be crazy if like ML Zerato ignored immunity too? <laughs> How busted would that be? Have I ever seen a Charles cleave? Nah. I'm sure it could work. I've seen Charles on defense though. He's so annoying too. Cause Charles, like if he counters and then chains into a skill too, like whoever he counterattacks, your unit is done. <laughs> so annoying. Ah, oh, Charles on defense is so annoying. Harado? That could work. The thing with Harado, though, is it's so RNG on a skill 3. Um, could be tough. Because, like, if Harado, like, doesn't reduce the combat readiness of, let's say, ML Bell after the strip, then you miss. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're kind of left, left for dead. But if he does land, I think it could be great. So, my answer for that team is it depends, you know. Kind of one of those things. Warball says I might actually try Charles Cleave with Zerato. That's what's up, man. Do it up, bro. Did my did my key say just did some of my car just die, man? They just killed my car, man. <laughs> uh, Harado or Brassar? It depends, man. Like here's the thing, man. You can run any unit that you want, but there's stat requirements. So like, if you run Brassar. And you're running Basar for the initial strip plus the damage, it could work. It's just the rest of your team has to be speed tuned to a point where 
taking into consideration that the fastest units in the game right now are probably 270, that you're either A, faster than that team, or B, positioned in a way that's going to allow your team to get a second turn, or to go turn two. Now, that's going to change. I'd imagine that, you know, three months, six months, people will be 300 speed. So, yeah, it depends. I might run something like ML Bell into ML Zorato into Charles. Let's see, now that could work. Because then you got the strip sleep. If you get the RNG sleep, then the defense break plus, yeah, I can see that for sure. How would you build Pylos? Um, I don't know yet. I had her on some weird build because, like, I was I was raging at the fact that I couldn't pull Armin, so I just built one of my tanks that I just had random. Because <laughs> my listen, guys, my box is not defensive at all. And to say, well, it is now because now they buff Corvus, but before Corvus buff, dude, the defense units I got are laughable. And um, I. Uh, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Just full defense, I guess. A bunch of HP. I want to test her on a uh, on a on a defensive damage build, but I don't know. It's definitely not a priority. Who's my tank slayer, Judge Kisa? Yes, baby. Oh, you went up another point four. Nice. Hmm. What do you have to add? So I think the design, the plants are for design, but entertainment has to be like maybe a DJ or like a show or something maybe. TVs? Can you put like TVs in your restaurant? Yeah, you put pictures, but I think that's the design. What what other amenities can you put in there? T can you put like TVs or music? Why is what is the highest speed sub twenty? I have a bunch of twenty speed. Well, I have one twenty, a bunch of seventeens, bunch of sixteens. I got some eighteens. I got I got a bunch of stuff. I'm going for the thirty pop though. How new players without dizzy like me deal with dizzy and PVP? You killer, or use Destina, or Akatis, or pretty much any other cleanser, or Jack. <laughs> don't use Jack. You could, but don't. Would it be okay to have C Armin on speed health? Because I just got her today. J Oreo, listen, all you gotta do with C Armin, I mean, you could speed her up, but she's not even there for the skill three. If she uses the skill three, it's a bonus, but you just want her to just be there, be tanky as hell, and be annoying. Do you see a lot of Dizzy? I see Dizzy everywhere. Dizzy never goes away. Ever. Dizzy, Armin, Ruel, Cartuya, um, ML Kim, Arbiter now. I don't see a lot of Judge Kisei's. I see maybe two. But that'll change. No, no life. Who else do you see up top all the time? Huh. Oh, you can. Nice. Oh, look. Giant sushi. Oh, Fallen, C Fallen CC. Yeah, we will, definitely. Oh, whoa. That's going to be huge. <laughs> Crowd, yep. Crowd all the time. Dark Corvus. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. 17 plus. I got a 20 speed weapon. Uh, again, I wouldn't really stress the speed, Jay. Just, you just want to get her tanky. She, again, she's not doing much in your team, bro. She's just standing there. If you can get her to 160 to 180 speed with 25, you know, 25k HP with you know 1500 to 2k defense, then great. Oh, and you also want resistance too. Don't forget about resistance. Much resistance as possible. Yeah, yeah, lots of ML Kins everywhere now. But yeah, dizzy, bro, dizzy in like every count. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I fought. I, it's been a while since I fought a team without dizzy. Man, they are everywhere. The highest speed is too, dude. I I went through that for a long time, dude. You know, in believe it or not, man, like 
my first my first four months first three months two three months of playing this game i literally could not get a hero over 180 speed my requiem roar was like 180 some 181 or some 182 and like i used to have people come into my stream all the time and brag about their shuri's They're like oh my shuri's 210 speed man why are you so slow because i was struggling i couldn't i couldn't do wyvern um nine and ten right because I, I just wasn't fast enough and uh because at the time i thought it was just all about speed man and i just used to get roasted man because i was just so slow and then things changed <laughs> <laughs> so look man just stay consistent you know just don't quit if things ain't rolling right for you now that that doesn't mean that they're not gonna roll right for you you know it just takes time and a lot of farming but you gotta ask yourself like what you want to be if you want to be the fastest mofo in the game then you probably should be in wyvern if you're trying to be the 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 most annoying team in the game you're probably gonna be in banshee you know and if you got nothing else to do, you'll probably be in A11. <laughs> uh, yeah, Requiem Roar was the jam back then, man. She was the jam. I don't... Like I said, Brian, like, I was talking about this earlier. I don't, I don't even... I don't care how fast my runs are, man, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer to that, because I ain't trying to spend seven, seven grand a month trying to speed for them. Mm-mm, nope. What do I prefer, speed boots or speed subs? Stat? Speed subs. Because listen, man, as this game transitions to RTA and the stat thresholds get higher, what you guys are going to start seeing is people without speed boots well over 200 speed. You're going to run into people that are 230, 240 speed, 250 speed on HP boots, defense percent boots. So <laughs> it's going to get crazy, man. But yeah, I'd always choose uh, pure stats over like a 40 speed boot. Unless, unless, the unit is designed in a way that you definitely want them to go first. Uh, do your 6-star ML Kin first for PvP, then k -Ron. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough to say there's a lot of variables that goes into that you know because i gotta know you know what type of team you're running why you're you know like I, it's, it's hard to say is eight speed deep no that's a that's a low eight speed is low anything under 12 that's probably a low roll how do i deal with violets i kill them before they get a turn Violet, listen guys, Violet is only a threat if you let him go. If he doesn't go, he's worthless. But if you let him get a turn, he's he's a big problem that can solo your team. With, without even blinking, man. Without even blinking. Seriously, I forgot about Violet. Did you? Yeah. Because <laughs> he looks horrible. He's <laughs> purple. Yeah. yeah. Purple guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. He's pretty strong, though. Yeah, you can't let him play. Corvus, you can't let him play. You know who I used to counter uh, Corvus today in Guild Wars? So bad guy. <laughs> it was kind of funny, man. Uh, Ooh, yes, my entertainment's going up. You like seeing violent and nice, nice. What did you add? TV. Oh. Nice. Your restaurant looks nice. You put a DJ booth in there. Is there any hero in the game right now that's unable to miss? Like, attack cannot miss? I mean, Rekorus, right? Skill 3 with the stun, but... Like, just a guaranteed hit? Do they do they have a hero like that in the game? Yeah? None? Weak. 
Worth it to invest Mola into Soul for weapon murdering purposes? Yeah, skill 2 and skill 3. I'll put something into mine. Definitely increases his damage if you're going to be doing that. Is Corvus really... Dude, he's really good, man. Corvus is good. Like, this is what's going to happen, man. Because right now, like, the Corvus momentum is just kind of getting started. But everybody's going to build Corvus. And every defense is going to have Corvus. Listen, man, it's just what it is. And then they're going to release some counter hero or some kind of mechanic is going to be released. And then it'll, you know, and then it'll normalize. But, yeah, Corvus is a beast right now. You used to run Requiem Roar in Arena? Yeah, yeah, yeah Big Weave. I ran Requiem and Rose. Uh, double CR push and double cleave. That's how I climbed to Challenger or whatever the first time when I first climbed to Arena before I just stopped doing Arena for a long time. Hmm. Yeah, they probably didn't think about the TVs and stuff. Is my soul? Nah, man. It'd do squishy, man. It'd be 8k health with a bunch of crit damage and crit and some attack. It's about 150 speed. Nothing special about my soul, bad guy. I need to show him some love, though. How's the double attack gear on all slot 6 and all 4 characters? Well, I don't understand the question. Uh, should Tywin be built speed? Yeah. You want Tywin fast and accurate and tanky. Does my daughter, she does not play Epic 7, but she, she, uh, she likes the game. She just don't like playing it. <laughs> she, she came in, uh, the office yesterday and she was, she, she gave me a congratulations on my, uh, my first Epic 7 summer. Uh, because, you know, we started playing Epic 7 in the winter time, so it's, it's pulling close to the one year anniversary for Epic 7 for me. And uh, so she came in just out of nowhere and just congratulated me for it. So I, I definitely could appreciate that. When I was walking in, I realized it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Corvus is the only unit that does what he does. Yep, yep, Corvus is. Yo, if you let Corvus get a turn. <sighs> Ugh, disgusting, man. <gasps> Have I ever won against a team that looked like it was bad? Yeah, lots of times, man. You'd be surprised, man. You see, I see it a lot in like. It's in this. This is so mind blowing for me. But like, you would think that because I used to think like when I went through the phases, like when I was in high challenger, I was like, man, challenger is tough. And I got to like champ five, champ four, and I was like, man, champ is tough. And then I got, you know, and then I worked about did my first climb to uh, legend. Um, and then I was like, man, these teams are tough. But then once you get used to the teams that you run into in legend. Like, dude, champ teams, they're a joke. And its and I think the difference is it's just the stat thresholds. Like, the people in champion have a very specific stat threshold. And then in legend, it's a very specific stat threshold. So, like, No Life Warball, for example. You wouldn't run into his Corvus and champ 3-2-1, right? It's just, it's just kind of what it is. Like, <laughs> and so, like, teams and champ, like, they look strong, but you just dumpster them. Now, when you get to Legend, like, Thick Waifu, yo, that dude's team is ridiculous, man. I was like, oh, I wonder why they call him Thick Waifu. And they hit his team. <sighs> so, it's, it's so annoying. <laughs> so, so annoying. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, ta uh... Meko, yeah. You can use Tywin. Speed gear. You can use them pretty much whatever you want, man. Just getting the stat threshold. Uh, mobile game life, it depends on what type of team you're running. And what you're going to be using Judge for. You know what I'm saying? Because understand that Judge Kise, she's good. But what makes her effective is the burn. So, like, if you're not running, if you're not running, like, a mage arena comp with a Max Taga Hell's Ancient Book then it might not be the best choice for you. Like, unless you're going to be using Judge for, like, A11 or something, or maybe Banshee, Judge might not be the best choice for you. Versus Corvus, you can use as a frontline in Wyvern. You can use as a frontline in Golem. You can use them for Automaton Tower. You can use them for Abyss. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you can use Corvus for versus Judge. So, before you, like, run off and just six-star a unit just because it's an ML hero... You know, like, that's, 
that's something that you should take into consideration is what what you're going to be using yeah you can use fire cores for 100 you can use fire cores for all that stuff i need to build my fire corps so i can finish the dim tile i'll probably do fire corps in like Lorena or something or maybe i'll just do fire corps and like healers um would who should i use with ml bill and ml collie for an offense team um <laughs> i don't know man <laughs> like i can't just tell you a team because i don't know what kind of stats you're working with you know because like if you got super fast gear then it's a different answer than if you got slow gear or if you're trying to go for turn two or you know like it's a, a lot of different scenarios that go into thinking of an arena comp if i can build my bbk with 3.5k attack and very high crit chance and around 250 to 260 will that do well in cleave yeah it could if you have a max skill and if you have the positioning right, if you don't, then you just get smashed. I think the most annoying BBK I've ran into was on counter with Moonlight Dreamblade. And she was she had about 13k HP and was paired with Crimson Armin. That's probably the most annoying BBK I've ever fought in my life. What is the best advice you can give to players now that Gale Wars uh, in his first season? What units to focus on for players now with their Mulligoras? I For new players, man, just focus on your dungeon teams. Like, being a new player and trying to build a Guild War team is setting yourself up for failure. Because you're just spreading yourself too thin. I would say focus on your PvE team. Get you, get yourself in a position where you can farm gear efficiently. And build build your Guild War teams as an extension of your PvE teams. So it's easier for you to transition into Guild Wars. Because if you try to, like, do PvE and PvP at the same time, especially when you don't even have any gear... It's going to make life real hard. Just pulled ML Rent. Nice, Grant. You know, so, like, PvP should never be a focus, in my opinion, early. Ever. Because you're just not ready. And then you're going to move gear that you don't have to other heroes because you feel like you need to perform a certain way. Then you're going to slow your progression down. Then you're not going to get no gear. Then your molas are going to be all over the place. And then you're just going to shoot yourself in the foot. But PvE, honestly, making your PvE teams the best that they could be is the best thing you could do for your guild. Because you're not always going to be in a situation where your gear is bad. You know? like, And the better your gear gets, the easier it is for you to build heroes. That way you you know, you know can focus molas on specific teams. And then once those teams are done, then you can slowly build your other teams. So, up front, it's, it's, it's going to feel like hell. Because you're going to want to you know be impatient and get into the fight but the best thing you can do is be patient and if you're in the right guild i understand if not find another one nice yeah it's up to 3.1 now oh so now they can get on the phone that's cool <laughs> Kaiser, we're kicking you out today, man. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Focus should be <laughs> should be on raid and getting to be queen once a week. Raid hard has the highest listen, man. Can we talk about that raid hard gear? <laughs> oh man, that stuff ain't no guarantee, man. I think I'd recommend the the arena season gear over raid gear, cause man, let's talk about that raid gear, man. Ugh. Ew. What's her pin on M MLC? So I think she's good, man. I think she's real good with Armin. Without Armin, she's average. But like with Armin, she's so annoying. Will Crowd Tamron, Luna, and Angelica Dizzy work for Abyss eighty? Yeah, should. Actually, wait. Time out. Time out. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't see why. I mean, Disney ain't really going to be doing anything but a skill one, skill two. Just make sure you don't have her like on Zero Ren or something. Because you want to keep harmful effects off of uh, Mercedes, right? Let's see you're fighting up there. Crit chance, health, effect of that. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's roll it.
four roll. I don't like that that crit, crit is low, F res low, high health roll. Mm. I don't know. I'll roll it to nine, see what happens. If it rolls crit or F, uh, I'd rather roll crit though. Who the hell would I even put that on? HP bruiser? I don't even know. Maybe I'll just feed it. Uh, could I use Kisei in regular lots on you could you're gonna you're, you're going to Miss a lot of damage though because that attack buff is is a pretty big deal But I, I'd say it depends on the rank that you're in too. Like if you're if you're still like in master challenger. Yeah, why why the hell not? <laughs> just get your Kisei stats use lots and just burn right in there. Just mm, bing bang boom. Uh, what would you say the minimum stats needed for Angelica to tank the Wyvern 11 on auto? Uh, my Angelica right now is at 18k uh, with 1400 defense. I'd say probably 14 to 16k HP, uh, about 1400 defense. I mean, if you want to be sure, um, if you're going to be running a healer front line. It's easier if you run a tank, just because, like, like, for instance, like if you got Crow or something, you get the defense buff for Tywin. Um... Or if you have Sword of Ezra or the new artifact that's coming, that's going to be another good thing for easy players for PvE prog progression as well. Have I seen Clarissa plus Gen Purge doing like 30k damage every turn? Oh wow, that's, that's nuts. I heard Clarissa can hit pretty hard. I still haven't built my mind still 5 star. Did Kisei really kill the end? Uh, which Kisei? Water Kisei or Judge? I turned 15 in June, and the government had the summer job program, so I got a job now saving for a game. Hey, man, do it up, man. How much? How much? Uh, how much is the game lap laptop running, man? A couple grand. What's the lowest level gear you would use? 85. <laughs> now with jewelry crafting, see, before I would use 70 gear because we didn't have jewelry crafting. Now, if I'm not you, if it's not 85, I ain't touching it. Like I don't even like 85 blue gear. Like, unless it's, like, jewelry with, like, two perfect subs and I roll it to see what happens. But even then, it's kind of like, why would I roll 85 blue if I could just craft, you know? So, 85. 1.5k Canadian. So, so it's about, about 1,300. That's what's up. It's going to be a good, that's going to be a good rig, man. Well, what are you, uh, what are you getting for? What, you, you playing to play? You trying to play some competitive games? How many MFOs have three right now? Uh, Tenro says, hey, the moment I just saw your ML Ravi. Congrats for new, more broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's coming, man. ML Ravi, bro, let's go. Getting the gaming laptop? Nice. That's how you know you play Summer's War when you're extremely thick. Dude, I, you know, it, it's benefiting me now, Solus, but in the beginning, it hurt me. It hurt me so bad, because I can't, I, you know, I started playing this game, Solus, and I was, like, super picky with my gear, you know, kind of like I was in SW, and it, it, it really was, it, it was a detriment. But now, <laughs> now it's good, you know? But then, it's just like, man, I was killing myself, because, you know, when we started this game, like, the only way you can get accessories was out of the labyrinth and opening accessory chests, dude. It was... Oh, man. Man, people think they got it bad in the game now. Jeez. It was rough. Uh, Mobile Refund is live, Malachi, so... If you log in, check your inbox, you should have Mulligoras ready to go. I, I myself got 46 back. Who is my favorite clutch character that I own now? The unit that always amazes you no matter the content. Hmm. That's a really good question. 
Yeah, um, so I put a video up too, guys, uh, for those of you guys who didn't see it yet, but ML Ravi, uh, Butt Reynolds, data mined it on Reddit, yo. Yo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go check that video out. Uh, did you continue playing Guilty Gear? Uh, I did not, man. I haven't played Guilty Gear in a minute, man. I'm playing uh, Team Fight Tactics right now. Clutch hero. That no matter what happens, I'm always like... I can't really say I have one, man. I don't know. Yeah, I can't really say that I have one, to be honest. Blown as clutch for you? Uh, it's not that I don't like her. I just don't have, I don't have anywhere to put her. You know? That that's 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 my thing with ML Ren, man. Yeah, I just don't have anywhere to put her. If I had somewhere to put her, it'd be great. But uh, I ain't got nowhere to really, you know, do the do with her. Fifty-three, eighty, one twenty, five, eleven defense, twenty-seven percent crit chance. Effectiveness twelve. Five turn. Healable covers the health loss. Additional fifty percent. Hmm. Do they? Oh yeah, I see the balloons. And they're having cakes. No, having nah, I don't have regular bell. I don't have regular bell. Tywin, Crow, uh, Dizzy, Delona, Sermia, Tamarin. <laughs> I don't have none of those, man. None of those. Uh, I think ML Ravi will be probably the easiest ML hero to build for players. Kidding, I don't have her. I don't have Kitty yet. Um, I think, but ML Ravi is is going to be strong. She's going to be very, very strong. I mean, Lilibeth will counter ML Ravi a little bit, but ML Ravi is going to be a beast. Show us. I don't have ML Ravi yet, man. I got regular Ravi. ML Ravi's not out yet. ML Ravi will be out in two weeks. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say impossible to pull, man. I mean, you know, just got to pull her. Oh, of course I have Dizzy. Do you think... Uh, my Dizzy's triple S. Um, do you think bookmarks on the market is always buy? I mean, I buy them. I mean, you got to get your gambling fixed somehow. You know, I feel like uh, refreshing the shop, though, for it nowadays is kind of a waste. Just because you can crap jewels. You pull Crow on the Layton. What does ML Rabby do? So her first skill, she deals damage proportional to her max HP, and she heals for 30% of the damage dealt. It's a 1.8 multiplier. Hold on, I'm remembering this off the top of my head. If you burn it, it's a 1 multiplier, uh, 1 times 0.95 if you don't burn it. Um, skill 2 is a passive that heals her every time she's attacked for up to 10.2% of her health and um, with Molus, but it costs her fighting spirit, I think 10 fighting spirit uh, to heal. She starts to fight with 50 fighting spirit though. And then her third, I don't know if it's AOE or a single target, 
but if it kills an enemy, it revives one random ally with uh, skill nullification and 10% of their health. Yeah. Uh, I do not have a Kali. I don't have a Kali. I don't have a Wanderer Silk. I don't have Crimson Armin yet. And I don't have SS Akatis. Oh yeah, S2, yeah. With the crit chance, based on their charge. I, I don't think I'm going to rely on that, though. If I pull it... <sighs> it, it seems kind of risky. It's going to be like one of those things where you built her like 90% crit, and then you realize she ain't got no fighting spirit. <laughs> that she misses a crit and you lose a fight. You'll trade me a Kali, and I'm good, man. I had to hard pass on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'll take that Crimson Armin off you, though, J. Wario. Uh, what was the luckiest thing that happened to you in this game? My uh, my Abyss 80 pulls. <laughs> it was four ML summons. All of them were uh, all of them were their gold. All of them were four star pulls. It was so sick. But like that period of like two months, I think, where it was like the luckiest like eight weeks I had in this game. Like, I couldn't stop pulling five stars. Pulled three MLs, pulled... It was like five stars out the daily, something left and right. It was... Dude, it was so stupid. It was so stupid. And then I've been on a drought. <laughs> Since. <laughs> I'm talking about dupe after dupe after dupe after dupe after dupe. Yep, yep, that's what dad is waiting for. We're just waiting it out, because this too shall pass. Clitty, Clitty, Clarissa? Kitty, Clarissa? Oh, yeah, 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 pulled, uh, pulled biking, because I got up, and I was like, I'll be right back. And I didn't know I hit someone when I came back and sat down. Biking was sitting on the screen, bro. That was hilarious. I free oh. summoned Sermia? Nice, dude. That one time you broke the game. Oh, yeah, when I pulled ML Ren. First, first ML summon. And uh, <laughs> pulled them all in, and then like the server shut down. Broke the yeah, it was hilarious. Yep, Is bringing Kyrus on Abyss floor better than the damage deal? A lot of people are cheesing Abyss ping uh, with uh, with Kyrus. You still, <laughs> dude? It'll happen, bro. I'm telling you, a year from now, Brian, we're gonna be talking to you. Be like, man, I don't know what happened, man, but I pulled every hero in the game. <laughs> I'm like, see. Alright, Kitty Clarissa needs a buff, so probably an extra turn. The Kitty Clarissa is actually pretty good, man. She's a real good counter for the harmful effects. She's real good. Especially after Because they, they had already buffed her uh, a couple months ago, I think. Oh, those mushrooms. Uh, the easiest way to get around the mushrooms, man, is any kind of unit with attack break or chance to miss. Uh, so if you don't have Dizzy, I mean, you use units like Surin. Surin has attack break. Um... But yeah, any, any kind of chance to miss or attack break right before they explode, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, man, and, and, you know, in these types of games, it all evens out, you know? Like, it was crazy. When I was doing Summoner's War, we, they had this program called Swar Farm, Summoner's War Farm, where it tracked, if you left the proxy open, it tracked all your runs, all your energy spent, all your drops, everything. And it, it forced me into this position where I had to really be honest because, like, I couldn't blame luck anymore. Because I looked at my stats over the course of about 100,000 runs. And it was like, after 100,000 runs, like, everything normalized. Like, I had the, the same amount of slots. So, like, from slot 1 to slot 6. Like, the same percentage of drops. Like, it was all the same. My ML pulls. Well, not my ML pulls. But my, my summons. Like, they evened out. Like, they turned exactly into the percentages that they said the rates were. Like, it's... I don't know, man. It's crazy. So... I think the biggest thing with games and in life, guys, is even if you're if things aren't rolling right for you, that you know it's not when you quit. You know, when you, when your your ship is sinking, it's not time to jump off the boat. It's time to get the buckets. You know, get the water out the ship, fix your ship, because eventually, I mean, you'll get whatever it is you need to get as long as you don't give up. <clears throat> How much effectiveness will Curious need? Uh, I'd say fifty to sixty. You know, just just to be safe. But yeah, I stole that quote though. That quote was from uh, 
What's that movie? What's that show? Uh, Designated Survivor. Real good show. But that was a good quote, though. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen it on Netflix, go check that out. I'm watching it right now. I'm on season two. Yeah, I think I'm on season two. Episode 14. It's good. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. I had a lot of fun with y'all. Uh, hopefully, I answered a bunch of questions for you guys, helped some of you guys out. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. That being said, man, we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.